Today we are going to make gardens and the only art tools we'll need are markers and our thumb. We only need our thumb and some markers. The first thing is get a green marker and you're just going to make a scribbly line all the way on the bottom of the page here. And you just scribble a little line and that's going to make it look like grass. Then you take the same green marker and you're going to draw some stems, some stems for flowers. And they can be tall or short or little or big. And you just draw those stems. Now don't add the flowers yet because we're going to use our thumbs and this paint to do that. Now we're going to push our thumb in the little sponge and we're going to make the middle part first. And after you choose a color, after you're done with the color, be sure you wipe your thumb off on the towel. And you're going to be sharing these paints with the person sitting next to you. So you'll share the paints and the towel in the marker. And see I'm just putting a dot with my thumb on the top of the stems. And you can make them all different colors or you can make a pattern. You can do whatever colors you want. Make them all the same. Then we're going to do the petals. Now the first flower I'm going to do, I'm going to do blue petals around a blue middle. Now watch, look, I turn my paper around. Rather than trying to twist my thumb in all crazy weird directions, I just move my paper around the middle of the flower. And there's my flower. Now I think for the rest of them, I'm going to use different colored petals, different than my middle. So here I'm using red around my yellow middle. See, I'm trying to twist my thumb all weird. It's not working. So it's a lot better if I just move my paper around in a circle. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward and you're going to see how I do all of my flowers in super fast mode. There, now that I have all my flowers done, and if you have an ex some extra time, you can make bugs. The first bug I'm going to make is a purple butterfly. So I take two thumbprints, clean up my hand, then I get a black marker. And what's nice is the paint dries pretty fast. So you just get a black marker. And for a butterfly, I draw a straight line down the middle of those two thumbs and a dot on top and two little antennas with two little dots. There's other bugs that I can make too. I think for the next bug, I'm gonna do a B. So I get yellow, wipe up my thumb, and do black curved lines and a little smiley face, and two wings on top, and some legs on bottom, and a steener in the back. Bzz. Now I have a bee. For my next bug, I think I'm going to do a caterpillar. So I'm going to get green. I'm going to use my finger this time because I want little dots. I'm just going to make little dots of my little caterpillar crawling on the grass. Wipe my finger. Get my black marker back. And draw lots of little legs. Lots of little legs and a smiley face. Happy little caterpillar. And the last bug I'm going to do is a red ladybug. Right there. Now for this, I draw a line across for the head and a line down the middle for the wings and add my black dots. Then I think I might even add some wings on top to show that it's flying around. And then that's it. So start with the flowers, and if you have extra time, you can do some bugs too. 